Silencio, muchachos. Cállense, cállense. No hablen en la clase. Es la clase de español. Silencio, cállense. No hablen. Bufón. No hables así a mis estudiantes, por favor. Ay, no seas grosero con ellos. Ellos son estudiantes y ellos quieren aprender. Hay que ser simpáticos y amables. Cállate la boca tú. No seas tan malo, tan bruto con ellos. Ja. Hola, muchachos. Estoy discutiendo con mi amigo El Bufón en este momento. ¿Qué estamos a punto de aprender? ¿Puede ser el imperativo? La forma de dar mandatos. ¡Sí! Ok. Español 3. También Español 2, pero principalmente Español 3. Los mandatos. Es un repaso breve y una continuación, quizás, para la mayoría de ustedes. Vamos a empezar aquí. ¡Ah! Es el repaso. Affirmative command. After the command, attach your objects, accent the original word to preserve the sound. Oh, there's an asterisk. Un asterisk? Okay, asterisk. Only at the accent marks when. One, you're attaching something. Lo, la, se, me, te. You know, indirect, direct, objects, reflexive pronouns, all of that counts, okay? Only add accent marks when attachments are added to the command. And the new word that you form is more than two syllables, okay? So if I say, dime la verdad, dime, it's from the verb this year, dime la verdad, it's only two syllables, dime. But if I say, dime la verdad, instead I just say, dime la verdad, dime, dime la, dime la, dime la, okay? Well, if I don't accent that, dime la, dime la, tres syllables, tres syllables, all right? Okay, if I don't accent it, it's going to sound like, dime la, dime la, dime la, and now it sounds like I'm singing or something. All right, so anyway, the new word must be more than two syllables, and you've got to add something. Now. What this review is not going to do, it's not going to teach you all the irregular commands. You should already know those. You should have papers and papers and papers on those. But what it will do is it will go over a review of how to add the accents and, and do the attachments. Oh, -ho! that's like this. Oh, -ho! oh, -ho! like oh, -hos. oh, -ho! reflexive commands automatically have attachments. Think about it. There's a reflexive command. It's a reflexive pronoun, right? Say, may, te. So they usually come back to two because they're going to typically be three syllables or more. Three syllables or more is the same as saying more than two syllables. Okay, now my cameraman is yawning, so I must speed up. All right. Tú te sientas. All right, that's, a, that's the reflexive verb, sentarse. Tú te sientas. Siéntate. All right. Or if I want to be formal, usted, se siente, usted, right, usted, se, se sienta, siéntese, siéntese, siéntate, siéntese, okay, all right, tú te sientas, all right, whoo, whoo, que huele, oh, is that my cameraman, wow, oh, que horror, cameraman, tú te bañas, no, no te bañas, wow, Bañate, cameraman. Camar. Ca oh, oh, wow. Bañate, por favor. No, no, es cierto. Él se baña todos los días. Él se baña todos los días. De hecho, se baña más que yo. ¿Por qué? Porque hace más ejercicio que yo. Ok. Uh, bañate. No, 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 no es cierto. Ok. ¿Tú me prestas una pluma? Préstame la pluma. Préstame. If I don't put that accent mark in there, it's prestame, prestame. Ooh, it sounds like a delicious Italian food. Prestame. Oh, I like my prestame on rye. Okay, no. Prestame la pluma. Actually, I don't like rye at all. Okay. Or, prestame la pluma. Prestame la. What could la possibly be referring to? Prestame la. Hmm, oh, la pluma. Prestame la. Prestame la, por favor. Prestame la. 
Ok, ¿usted me da una botella de agua? Deme la botella. There's no accent there, it's only two syllables. Deme la. Ooh, now there's an accent. Why? Because I said la instead of la botella. Deme la botella, deme la. It means the same thing. Alright, ustedes hacen la tarea de mi clase. That's just a statement of fact. But I can turn it into a command. I know that's probably something that your parents are going to say. Hagan la. Hagan la tarea. Alright, now if it's just hagan la tarea, there's no accent. Why? Hagan. Two syllables. Hagan la. Right? That's three syllables. Hagan la. Alright? Three syllables. Hagan la. Alright, now, we can also put in indirect object pronouns. Instead of just objectifying la tarea, we can, we can answer the question indirect object pronouns to whom or for whom something's being said or done. So, if I say, háganse la, you're either doing it for your parents or you're doing it for yourselves. It's unclear. Háganse la para sus papás. Oh, okay, now it's clear. Háganse la para ustedes mismos. Okay, now it's clear. Háganme la means you're doing it for me. Okay? Háganme la. Háganme la. Tarea, por favor, háganme la. No, you don't need to do it for me. I've already got all my degrees. Do it for yourselves. All right. Now for a little trip down memory calle. All right. What is memory calle? Dora! Everyone, let's... Ooh, it says every let's vamonos. Oh, it should be... Come on, everyone, let's vamonos. Everyone, let's vamonos. 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 Ay, Dora's killing me. All right. Well... That's a nosotros command. In nosotros commands, which are basically saying, hey, let's do this, hey, let's do that, hey, let's blah, 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 all right? All right, if I say comámonos, I'm saying, hey, let's eat, right? Let's eat a lot. Comamos, let's eat. Comámonos, let's eat a lot. I'll talk about that later. Because everybody thinks, ooh, comámonos, is that, what did I do wrong? Vámonos. Yeah, it's right, vámonos. Is it vámano? No. Vámano. Vámano. No, it's vámonos, it's right. Okay. Vámonos. No, it's vámonos. All right, nosotros commands cut the S when a reflexive pronoun, nos, is part of the command. It's from the verb irse. Next up, we have Naboo! Naboo! Oh, it's just like Star Wars! Naboo! Jar Jar Binks! No, I don't like Jar Jar Binks. Naboo! Negative command before the command, unattached objects, unaccent originals. Negative commands... Am I wrong about that vamonos? Can you check it on the internet, please? Maybe I'm wrong, because I'm doing this really fast. Negative command before the command, unattached objects, unaccent originals. What do I mean by that? Look, plural, díganselo. No se lo digan. Váyanse. No se vayan. Vete. No te vayas. Llámame. No me llames. Llámele. Usted. Llámele. All right, no le llame. Okay, now look, this, these little things, I'm, I'm going to just explain these. Dory, are you getting this? You're right. I'm right, okay, good. Are you getting this? Okay. Plural. Plural. Díganselo, váyanse. Plural. You're talking to a group of people. Ustedes. There's no, you can't command indirectly. You can't say, ellos, váyanse. Ellos, váyanse. Ellos, no se vayan. Ellos, no. You can't command people indirectly. You have to be direct. So the only commands you have to worry about are to, usted, which are informal, informal, singular, and nosotros, and ustedes, which are plural. There is no formal, informal, well, unless you're in Spain and they do vosotros, but I don't know that, so I'm just going to stick with what I know. All right, so plural, díganselo, váyanse, the negative, no se lo digan, no se vayan. Singular, singular, informal, vete, vete. No, no te vayas, no te vayas. Regresate, regresate. No, no te regreses. No. All right, okay, llámame, no me llames. Okay, you know, Carly Rae Jepsen. Llámame, quizás, oh baby, llámame. All right, no, no. No me llames, no me llames, por favor. No me, no me llames. Okay, or llámale usted, no le llame. All right, finally, very quickly. I get it that the conjugations work, look weird. I have called them, for the longest time, Frankenstein verbs. Because if you're, if you're familiar, Frankenstein's monster, uh, he was put together by Dr. Victor Frankenstein with all of these mismatched parts. And that's kind of, these are mismatched conjugations. That's why I call them Frankenstein verbs. So you have, here's, here's two regular verbs, an AR and an ER. Okay, so you have Yamar, 
Informal, llama. And then the negative, no llame. Formal, llame. Oh, wait, isn't that the same as the informal? It's confuso. Que confusión. Right? Llama, no llame. Llame, no llame. Llamemos, no llamemos. Llamémonos, because llamarse can be reflexive. Llamémonos, no nos llamemos. All right? Llamen, no llamen. <laughs> Yame, no yame. It sounds like a reggae song. Okay. Comer. Come, no comas. Coma, no coma. Comamos, no comamos. All right, now that's a small meal. And then, comamonos. No, co no nos comamos. That's pigging out. That is going to the buffet. Comamonos. Let's just chow down, smash our faces with comida. No nos comamos. Hey, let's be more reserved, more dignified, all right? Thanksgiving, acción de gracias. Comamonos! <laughs> After Thanksgiving, when you're regretting it, no nos comamos. Okay, you're not talking about cannibalism. If you say, oh, comamonos, hey, let's all eat each other. No, that's a literal translation. That's why we don't translate. No nos comamos. You're not saying, hey, let's not eat each other. You know, that's really weird and sick, and that's why we do not traducir. No se traduce. Okay, hey, traducir, no se traduzca, but anyway, I'm not going to get into the Cargars Arbors right now. 